The Grand Opera House in Oshkosh is known as one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin. So we send Emily Dean there to check it out because Better her than us. Yeah. she loves those spooky places. Yes. Oh, they are my favorite, <laughs> Rachel and Pete. Yes! And now we're in the basement at the Grand Opera House. And look at these lights right when you come down into the basement. It couldn't be any more eerie when you come down here and you see this. And guess what? Not a lot of people get to see this portion of the Grand Opera House, but on their Spirits of the Grand Guided Tours, you'll be able to. Angela O'Donnell is here with me this morning. So let's go ahead and explain why we're in the basement, why this is one portion of the tour you take people on. Oh, sure. Um, the basement is definitely one of the more haunted areas or more active areas of the theater. And it's a place that not a lot of people really get to come and see unless you happen to be one of the performers. So we like to take people people down here, give them an uh, insider's look. And in this particular spot, um, there are reported tunnels from where uh, the original theater used to have tunnels over uh, to the Atherton Hotel. Um, and, and supposedly, throughout town, there were these underground tunnels and shops. And so uh, in this particular spot, you meet a, an entity who will tell you a little bit more about that on the tour. And that's the best part. These tours, you, you, know, you meet characters or the people that may have never left the Grand Opera House. Look at that hallway though, that lighting. It just, it makes me just like, it puts you in the mood. Yes, it does. <laughs> because this isn't like a tour that someone's gonna jump out at you or anything like that. Um, No, no, but it's definitely a tour where you might uh, have your own story to tell at the end of it. Well, let's talk to Ryan here because Ryan, you're an actor mm -hmm. also in the tour, but you also work out here, but you have some stories as well. Can you tell me about some of your experiences? especially down in the basement? Sure, yeah, well, I'm the marketing community relations manager for the grant, so I spent a lot of time in the building uh, putting marketing materials, running around, and there was one particular day um, that I had to come down here really early in the morning. I was about to leave for a trip, and uh, it's, it's funny because one of the spirits on the tours is, uh, is a young boy. And I had been told that story before, and I was you know, just kind of like, whatever, and, I'm, and everybody who works with me knows I'm the first one to get freaked out about anything. but. Whatever I was in the basement, I noticed the lights were on, so I was coming through and turning lights off. And as I was going to uh, leave the theater through a little cross section, it sounded like someone without footsteps had run past the door. So all I heard was a laugh of a little kid just going, hee 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 hee, and just going past. And, and that for me is about the best experience that I've ever had. But you know, it's an eerie place. Theaters are eerie in general, and this building, given its history, is a little more so. So the spirits let you kind of explore these these. The Spirits Tours let you explore the kind of all these stories that have been collected and told in, yeah. in, in a really cool and interesting way. And it's historic too. I mean, mm -hmm. recently celebrating 130 years out here. So if you want to go on one of these tours, this is the last week for it. Go to our website to learn more. Dates, times are all on there. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Em.